Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this video, we're going to have a look at how we create 3D type within Final Cut Pro. Now, there's some 3D titles that are animated in Final Cut Pro. We're just going to be having a look at the tools for the, the basic 3D type, so how to extrude the type, how to rotate it within 3D, and those fundamental settings for setting up and aligning your type. So we're going to jump into Final Cut Pro here. So to add the type tool, we're going to start from the basic type. We're going to come to our titles and generators, and then we're going to come to bumper and opener. And in here, we're going to select the, the basic title. So we'll drag that down to our timeline. So what you'll have when you begin working with your basic title is just the words title in the middle there. And to change the text, you're going to come up to the inspector at the top right. You can double click in viewer, but my preferred way of doing it is to come up to the inspector. So if you don't see the inspector on the top right, just go to window, showing workspace and make sure you have the inspector checked. So once that's checked, we're just going to type in a different title here. And we're going to set some of the 2D settings. So there's some 3D styles here which you can jump in and use, but I want to look at how we do this from scratch. So we're going to just grab the bold type, just basically going to make it a nice kind of big type that we can extrude and change. So I'm going to turn my tracking up a little bit. So there's a little bit of a gap between these titles. And then we're going to scroll right down to the 3D text option here. So if we show this, we'll just double click on our inspector at the top here, just to expand that down. So you can see we've got 3D text, we're gonna check that to turn it on. And you can see extrudes a little, but we can't really see too, too much. So basically within 3D text, we've got two options. One controls the, the depth of the text, the weight of it, and things like the front end. And then the other sections control the lighting and the materials. So there's some different settings for how your type is lit. There's some nice options there. We're going to leave those alone for the moment. So the first thing we're going to do is change the depth of our type. So you can see now, as I change that, we've got the type kind of disappearing to a vanishing point somewhere in the middle there. So in order to change that, we're going to come back to our position, rotation, and scale tools. So here we can scale our type. We can also scale it, obviously, with the, the text options too. But importantly, we can use the, the rotation so we can actually rotate our type here. So you can rotate it and then also change the position of it. Now we can rotate these things in the inspector up here at the right, but if we want to rotate it in the viewer, then in order to bring up the 3D controls, you just need to click once on your type. Now in order to do that, you'll need to make sure that any transform controls are turned off. And now you can see I can actually use these 3D controls to move things around. So I've got some nice level of control over the rotation of my type in those different angles and we can get some nice kind of control there of those different angles so you can see here we've got some rounded edges on the front of our type here if we go down you can see we can modify that so we can make square edges at the moment my back edge is the same as the front we could change that to a different option to bevel it we're not really going to see that unless we rotate it round and we can see the bevel at the back. So you can see we get this nice level of control over the orientation of the type and then elements like the, the material down here. If we go down to the substance, you can see we can modify the, the color of our 3D type. And then we've got some options for color or gradient. So we can have different effects on there. We can also change it from the original shiny to matte or textured, depending on what we're, we're looking for. So you can see I've got some options for texture depth here at the bottom here as well. So that's how to do the, the basic setup of 3D type from scratch in Final Cut Pro. Now a cool effect I've been exploring recently in Final Cut Pro is the Better Effects Outliner. So if you come to my effects here, we're gonna have a look at the outliner effects. And you can see here that we've got this nice series of different outliner effects that we can add onto our type. So I'm just gonna scroll up and add the outliner electric. So we're gonna get this cool electric kind of effect around our type. Now, I'm just gonna drop a video behind there so we get a bit more of that effect showing up. So you can see nice translucency there. We're gonna drop the opacity of that background image just so that our text stands out. And then with this outliner, we can also animate that as well. So I'm gonna to cut to my inspector, just a quick demo here. We've got a whole bunch of effects here for things like the, the color. So we can modify the color of our outline there. Let's go for this nice magenta. And then we can also modify something like the, the crop. So we can crop from the, the right. And with this effect, we can animate it too. So I'm just gonna come back to the beginning and we'll play this in. And I'm gonna add a crop from the right. We'll just animate this on. So 
and see what this works like. So we just got our basic 3D type, nothing there at the moment, and then we get this cool outliner effect. So this is definitely a plugin worth checking out. I really like how it works with the basic 3D type in Final Cut Pro. And there are a lot of very cool paid for and free plugins that BrettFX produces, definitely worth checking out. I'll leave a link below to the outliner effects. If you do have any questions about Final Cut Pro, then please don't hesitate to get in touch. And I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.